this book was revealed to an illiterate prophet. That means an unlettered prophet. 1424 years ago, it has been, it was memorized over a period of 23 years, it was revealed. And it was memorized by the prophet himself, peace and blessing be upon him, and it was memorized by several of his companions, and he reviewed their memorization of it, and the angel Gabriel that brought it to him reviewed his memorization of it, and so when the prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, passed away, there were several companions of his that had memorized this whole Qur'an under his review. And since that time, millions of Muslims have memorized the Qur'an in every age. And I almost guarantee you that there's probably at least two or three or four Muslims in this gathering here that have memorized this whole Qur'an or the greater portion of it. And another miracle of this Qur'an that cannot be said for any other book is that if all the Bibles, if all the Talmuds, if all the Hindu scriptures, all the Buddhist scriptures, if all those books were thrown in the ocean, if all those people of those religions agreed, throw them all in the ocean, and then we Muslims, we threw all the Qur'ans in the ocean also. The Qur'an is the only one that in a matter of a day or two would be brought right back because it has been memorized from cover to cover. No one else can say that because no one else really even agrees to the completion or what is completely the Bible or any other book. So the Qur'an is its own miracle. Although there are miracles of the Qur'an and miracles of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, the real miracle of the Qur'an is the Qur'an itself.